A lot of people, well, sure. you know, have already taken advantage of the long holiday weekend to plan a vacation. But some of you are probably doing what we're doing right here in this studio today for the holiday. We're working, but we're loving it. The average American worker, by the way, is allotted 16 paid days off. But get this, last year, almost half of Americans took no time off. Still, various studies have shown that time off can actually increase workers' productivity long term. So even if you didn't take the Independence Day holiday off, my friends, don't let the rest of the season pass you by. Somebody's going to agree with that. <laughs> to talk about how you might do that is Mark Murphy. He's a travel expert and CEO of TravelPulse.com. Can you believe this almost half of Americans take no time off? What are they thinking? Why are we like this? Well, you know, I don't really take vacation time, but I'm in the travel media business, so yeah. when I travel, I'm actually working. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm the only one that has these It's excuse. in both columns is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, why not, right? But why are Americans doing this, you think? You know what I think? It's about productivity. They're nervous. Uh, wages are flat, and they want to keep their jobs, and they want to make the money that, that, that they think they can make and move up the ladder, if you would. And I think people are a little bit like that. And I think yeah. the other thing is, even though we're connected with smartphones and everything else, right. what do we do? We go away, we come back, and we're you know, facing a stack of things right. to work on. Right, that's, right. A big, that's a big challenge. So you almost get stressed on the return. That's a really good point. Yeah. So a way to maybe pick up some best practices on how to do a vacation yeah. would be to plan one right now. Go exactly. to Spain, go to Italy, go to go, go to Great Britain. Go to and, Great Britain. you know, watch the christening and then take a drive in the Cotswolds. How about that? I like that. So yeah. tell us about some of the, the trips. So I hear Mexico is topping your list right now. Yeah, so Mexico is hot with Americans. It's been hot for years. They do a great job down there, great value for the money. And one of the things we can get into is just about the uh, dollar. The strength of the dollar against the peso means that what a great value uh, Mexico was a year ago, it's 15 to 20 percent better this year. Mm -hmm. And the big thing down there is all inclusives. So it's pay one price, go in, know your budget. And families can get away to places like Mexico today for less than the cost of going to the Jersey Shore for a week. All right, 16 days is all we got on average. How do we maximize those 16 well, days? What a lot of people are doing this summer, instead of taking one long vacation, yeah. they're breaking it up and taking two or three shorter vacations. And I think that's great because you get away, you recharge, you don't have that avalanche of work, and you get to try and sample different places. Mexico is a three-hour flight from you know, a lot of cities in the mm -hmm. U.S., so get out of town and enjoy it. Are, are we doing more do-it-yourselfing, or are we going to the old-school travel agent? Great question. There's a trend that people who have gone online and done it themselves and been burned are now going back to the traditional agent. They're also overwhelmed. You do a search, there's so many options, they want to get some advice. Uh, what's the best length for a vacation? Two Domestic. days? Three days? No, I think three nights, four days, just to get away and recharge. And then if you want to immerse yourself in a culture or destination, you got to extend it. Go for that 10 or 12 day trip. I like his math here. Mark Murphy, 10 to 12 days. I yeah. appreciate that. All right, we're going to bring you back. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Up next.